A police officer's life is forever altered by a chance encounter on the highway. State Trooper Michael Patterson's day began like any other, patrolling highways and ensuring road safety. His routine typically involved issuing citations for various infractions, a task he'd grown accustomed to over time. While monitoring traffic on Kingwood Township Highway 1, pleasant June morning, a white BMW caught Patterson's attention. Unlike most stops prompted by speeding or erratic driving, this vehicle's windows appeared excessively tinted, potentially compromising the driver's visibility. Concerned for everyone's safety, Patterson decided to investigate. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. Activating his cruiser's lights, Patterson pulled the BMW over. Known for his approachable demeanor, even in official capacity, he approached the driver's window ready to engage in his usual friendly but professional manner. As the two men began conversing, what started as a routine traffic stop gradually evolved into an unexpected exchange. Their dialogue revealed surprising connections, leading to an astonishing revelation neither could have anticipated when their paths first crossed on that ordinary summer day. Michael pulled the man over, and the driver sheepishly admitted to the tint violation. The man, a former cop of 30 years, knew the rules inside and out, but had overlooked his own vehicle's tint. Despite his embarrassment, he approached the situation with a calm demeanor. To Michael's surprise, the man revealed his past as a law enforcement officer. A conversation ensued, and the two bonded over their shared experiences. Michael was particularly intrigued to hear about the man's career and the challenges he faced as a cop. The former officer shared stories about memorable cases, funny encounters, and the emotional toll of the job. Michael was grateful for the encounter, which was captured on his body cam and vehicle cameras. He realized that this chance meeting was a reminder of the human connection that can exist even in seemingly mundane situations. The two men parted ways, each with a newfound appreciation for the other's profession and a shared memory of a unique encounter on the road. Michael and Matthew engaged in a lengthy conversation, during which Michael learned more about the driver. What was initially a brief traffic stop had evolved into a much longer interaction. Matthew, also a police officer, revealed that he had worked in a nearby town, Piscataway. Michael was astonished to hear this. He didn't recognize Matthew, so he asked if the officer had been a cop in the same city. The man replied that he hadn't. It was only when Matthew mentioned the town name that Michael gasped. Piscataway was Michael's hometown. His mother still lived there. The coincidence was remarkable. Michael knew a few cops in the town, but wasn't sure if this could be the same officer he was thinking of. If it were, Matthew might have saved his life. 26 years ago, a strange event had occurred that Michael had never shared with anyone. When he heard Matthew was from Piscataway, his ears perked up. The odds of encountering not only a fellow officer, but one from his hometown were incredibly slim. Matthew was stunned when he learned the trooper was born in Piscataway in 1991. Memories of an incident nearly three decades ago flooded his mind. Could it be? He asked Michael his birth date, and when Michael replied, October 5th, 1991, Matthew's heart raced. He quickly followed up with another question. What street in Piscataway did you grow up on? A connection was forming. Matthew's suspicions were confirmed when Michael answered, Polk Place. Polk Place, the tiny dead-end street in the small town where Matthew, as a young rookie officer, had been called on October 5, 1991. It was a vivid memory, a call that had left a lasting impression on him. When a woman is pregnant, she knows that labor is inevitable. The big questions are when it will start and how long it will last. Women often spend days wondering if the baby is on its way. Typically, they experience a few hours of mild contractions before labor truly begins. However, this particular labor was unlike any other. It was a whirlwind. Usually, labor involves a gradual buildup of contractions that increase in intensity as the birth approaches. This is a common experience. But not all labors follow this pattern. Sometimes labor can be much longer or shorter than expected. 
When it progresses rapidly, there's often no time to get to the hospital, catching everyone off guard. Michael's mom had been through labor before, but this time felt different. It was much calmer and less intense, with noticeable breaks between contractions. She sensed something was off. Many women mistake false labor for the real thing, and Michael's mom was worried she might be doing the same. She didn't want to be the woman who thought she was in labor when she wasn't. Despite staying calm, the pain was intensifying, prompting her to call her husband for his opinion. As she waited, she realized the baby was coming quickly. There wasn't enough time to reach the hospital. She called her husband who rushed home, but they were unsure of what to do next. They contacted their doctor and 911. Emergency services assured them that a police officer and medical professionals were on their way to assist with the delivery. Michael's mom felt a wave of relief knowing help was on the way. When dispatch alerted Matthew to a young woman in distress on Polk Place, he raced to the scene. His instincts kicked in as he arrived at the tiny street. Karen and Bobby were relieved to see him. As the closest officer, dispatch had sent him. There was no time to waste. Karen was about to give birth. Within minutes, Officer Bailey was delivering a newborn baby. It was a far cry from his typical day, but his emergency response experience helped him remain calm. He stayed on the phone with Karen's doctor throughout the process. The situation was extraordinary. A woman giving birth on the side of the road with a police officer. Michael, the newborn, never imagined he'd meet the officer who delivered him years later. It was a testament to life's unpredictable nature. It's an uncommon occurrence for a police officer to deliver a baby. Most women either reach the hospital or give birth in their vehicle. The scenario of a home birth with a police officer assisting at the last moment is truly exceptional. The timing was nothing short of miraculous. While the majority of officers never have the opportunity to deliver a baby, they must be prepared for such a possibility. It's a chaotic yet deeply rewarding experience. Any officer who has delivered a baby will attest to the fact that it's a once-in-a-lifetime event. Matthew recalled the incident with remarkable clarity. He took complete responsibility for ensuring a safe delivery. The entire process was expedited due to Karen's advanced stage of labor. He even carefully unraveled the umbilical cord from the baby's neck and then handed him to the overjoyed parents. The reunion was extraordinary and highly unlikely to be repeated. Both Matthew and Karen recognized their extraordinary fortune in experiencing such a unique event. The incident serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of life. It showcases the human capacity for compassion, resilience, and the extraordinary moments that can arise even in the most ordinary of circumstances. Their conversation flowed effortlessly, defying time. When Michael glanced at his watch, however, he was shocked by the passage of time. They had much more to discuss, but unfortunately, it was time to part ways. It was a bittersweet moment, but Michael was grateful for the opportunity to reconnect with Matthew. It was an experience he would cherish forever. Now it's your turn. What do you think of this story? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.